Hello friends, so welcome to new session on real numbers. Today, carrying on with where we had left in the last session, we will discuss a new theorem and this theorem is called and this theorem is called fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay, so we are going to discuss fundamental 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 theorem theorem of arithmetic so you can see as the name itself suggests it is a fundamental theorem so very basic theorem in number theory or real numbers as you know it in your grade 10 mathematics book right so it's a very important a very very important important theorem theorem and this theorem you'll be surprised to know was given by Euclid so Euclid was the first person who actually um, coded this in or codified this in his book called the elements and he was before Christ we all know that he existed before Christ correct later on uh, Carl Frederick Gross uh, very famous European mathematician also tried and gave his gave the proof of this uh, theorem so let us see and uh, you know what what does the web says about uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic so i've already made a you know quick search on wikipedia so it's always a good habit to uh, search on net ex uh, about the topic which you are studying and try to understand what there what uh, whatever has been said about that particular topic uh, not all the topics are authentic, but yes, uh, Wikipedia to a large extent because it is uh, peer reviewed and verified by many people on the web. So you can reasonably um, expect to, uh, to you know, uh, so uh, expect that the data given here or the facts given here are correct. So now let's see what does it say. So you can see there is a picture here of a book cover, it seems, and it says the unique factorization theorem. So if you see uh, here, they are talking about unique factorization theorem so this is fundamental theorem of arithmetic they're saying and it is also called unique factorization theorem or the unique prime factorization theorem okay now what does it say it states that every integer greater than one either is a prime number so if you take a positive number either it will be a prime number or it can be represented as the product of prime numbers so we will first see what is a prime number and then we'll try to explain this and uh, they go on to say that moreover this representation is unique unique so one is they can be represented as products of prime numbers and moreover they are saying this representation is unique that means you cannot express any composite number in terms of products of prime numbers which are you know or uh, you cannot express in two different ways okay so let us understand now what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic which was proposed by Euclid, given by Euclid. He tried proving it also. And then later on, Gauss also proved it in 19th century. Now, uh, if you remember, we were talking about few terms. So there was one term called composite number. There was another term called prime numbers, right? Right? Now, prime numbers. What are these types of numbers? So we know, and uh, to tell you, we, we are going to discuss only non-negative or rather only positive, positive positive integers positive integers we are going to discuss only about positive integers okay so what we are saying uh, so what is a composite number a composite number is a number or a positive integer a positive integer it is positive integer 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 which has which has which has more than more than two factors okay so any integer which has more than two factors will be called as composite numbers example uh, 4 4 why 4 is a composite number because the factors are 1 2 and 4 there are three factors similarly 6 6 has factors 1 2 3 and 6 these are the factors of 6 similarly 8 if you see this is 1 2 4 and 8 there are four factors now what is a prime number then so prime numbers as you already know prime numbers are positive integers positive positive integers they are positive integers the integers which have which have which have only 
only two factors you already know this know this what all factors one is the number it's one and the number itself and the number number itself and we know the smallest prime number is what is the smallest prime number smallest prime number we know is two smallest prime number is two because it has factors one and two then we have three it has factors one and three similarly five similarly seven eleven thirteen so on and so forth okay all these are what are these numbers these are prime numbers right now, what does fundamental theorem of arithmetic say? Definition written over here is every composite number, now we know what is a composite number, can be expressed as a product, as a product of prime numbers. So this is what the fundamental theorem of arithmetic says. And it goes on to say that this factorization is unique also, right? Unique. So whatever factors you will be getting, it will be unique. You cannot get different sorts of factorizations for one composite number, except for the order in which the prime factors occur. Let's take an example or a composite number will be let's say 10. So 10 is a composite number clearly why because it has many factors 1, 2, 5, 10. So it can be clearly written as 2 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 1. Yeah. Now in no way you can express 10 in terms of 3, 7 or even different powers of 2. Right. So hence it is unique. Let us take 12. So 12 is 2 into 2. So 2 to the power 2 into 3. Okay. So 12 is 2 square 4 into 3, 12. Let us take another example, 18. So 18 is 2 into 3 square. 20 is equal to uh, 2 square into 5. Right. So basically what we are seeing that every composite number can be expressed as powers of prime factors and this particular representation is also called canonical form of canonical form canonical form of representation 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 of any composite number any composite number okay friends so in this uh, 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 session we understood um, what fundamental theorem of arithmetic is all about and we also saw that uh, this representation is also called canonical form of representation of any composite number in the next session we are going to discuss a few more examples of fundamental theorem of arithmetic in terms of we'll express few bigger composite numbers in in their prime factors and we'll also learn how to we, uh, find out or let's say find this expression or how to represent any composite number in its canonical form. Thanks for watching this video.